Point pick tanks. Well, I was gonna say gangplank, but Jace has crept on through. So Jace is one of sort of some... advantage. Yep, gonna feel pretty good there. Inspired though, does keep clearing off oh, with a very nice flash, binding straight it's to crap. the face, and Yumi just can't lie. It's Zeri that goes down first blood. Pop on him on the dragon. So Blabber off that invade will be able to get this first objective for Cloud9. As long as it's not stolen by the Zeri. The possibilities are there. Blabber is on Lee Sin, so. Very nice flash there, but JoJo's here as well. And Spy gonna lock him up. The roots good from JoJo's summit. Looking to be second blood. Can't get the trade. JoJo finds the kill. The big thing you have to worry about now is Nocturne ultimate here from Evil Genius. Is anybody caught out? Anybody without a flashlight summit? Oh, look at that. Perfect timing there. Someone's gonna get feared up and killed. The knockback's not enough. And Inspired gets on the board. It's gonna be about what can these repeat roams do? And again here, Summit gonna get knocked up. Impact with the combo. Nice little buff for the E, but the exhaust should be enough here. And Summit can only fight his way out as JoJo gets another. Plus Nocturne Yumi. Uh, things can get scary, but for Cloud9, it doesn't matter. You can't worry about that future before it's arrived. You have to stick to your all of this turret plate money for themselves and into their scaling up. Ooh, maybe not the angle they want to. They're gonna die for it. Very nice stasis there from Jojo. Blab is gonna stay. The oh! the kill, and he barely gets away with the trade. Jojo died. This EG team definitely could be a problem in the future. Cloud9 need to keep up the pace. And with this tower going down, just walks his way right into the river. Ooh, what a flank, actually. Isles, perhaps in a spot above it. Danny may be in trouble. Blabber going to get rooted up by the Yumi ultimate. And there's the old ulti trying to get another. They do get the knock up, but Inspired already gets a kill. That's critical because that's the jungler pastry time. That means you have no smite for this dragon. Your dragon stacking hopes are crushed. Evil geniuses have done it. They push down mid tower at the rift. Oh, nine. The opportunity here for soul point in exchange for pushing down mid, as you can see. And uh, Nocturne's much better in the early game than Zeri is. There's now a dive in bottom side. 3v1 here for Summit. Flushes past impact. The lights are up, but he's going to keep going for it. Oh, no, the Yumi ulti, everything thrown at him. Born, uh, very clearly on this team. Going to have to do something about that front line, but here's that dive pastry at clockwork. It just looks a little bit too easy. Inspired on a killing spree now. But as you were saying before, the advantage of what C9 have is getting into the river early and poking. Can't poke if you're late, but now they're going to go after Jojo. The dive is there. Blabber with the kick. But Jojo escapes. TP in from Summit, though. Cloud9 really want this soul. Now, they actually want to stop these backs, too, because that's a good chunk of damage on Jojo and on Impact. If Blabber can actually find Impact as well, he does not cancel the Orin back, so Impact will come back full health, and this is just going to be EG trying to get through the trap line. You see the Keller trap line? They gotta burst down this dragon and just go for this fight fight. Yep, jungle is both in the area. Dragon's down to 15 HP. Fudge here as well. Blabber. Oh, a little low. Blabber just gonna have to go for it. Inspired just waiting in the back of the pit. Summit's trying to find a flank. He's found Jojo. They're gonna look to try and get that kill. The dragon may be forfeit. That Blabber goes back oh! in! Still going for run. it here, but now they have to run. This 4v2 cannot fight with the little Kate and locks an impact. He finds a knockup Berserker, nets out of the way, doesn't have Gale Force, does have Flash, gets himself out of the aisles, now slowed up and killed. Danny unleashed is looking for the kill and he just keeps hitting Q. It doesn't matter. Danny finds another free investment. We'll see if it's enough to actually give them the win comp for this game, though. Even with the healing. Even with the healing, another chase. Out. The only, oh, we had, do have the uh, orb down there for Vulcan as well. So Yumi, and Yumi does have pretty good AOE. So it's on Vulcan and on whoever attacks impact. Baron though is gonna get started up. And this is the teleport coming from Jojo. He is happy to challenge Summit. No TP, he's gonna be late to this play. Gonna have to run as fast as he can. Jojo just fending them off. The fight is what they want instead. It's by pops it. Oh, no, the over the top. It's picture perfect out of EG. Gonna find two kills already. All right, that's gonna be an easy return to the Baron here. Cloud9, they have a little bit of poke with, but not much. And still they're going for a fudge, getting aggressive. Blabber here as well, but not much health to speak of. Fudge gonna get rooted up and slowed down. Trying to dash between them, but it's just not enough. Fudge trying to buy time though, trying to escape. The slow is not there, the root doesn't <laughs> land. Fudge still alive. Oh, shit. The oh. Way gets the jungler. That is a critical <laughs> kill from Fudge into the shroud. Danny's got the kill finally. Baron under 4,000 health now, but C9 here is five. EG peeling off. Oh, and ulti out once again. Pops it down the choke point, gets a triple knockup. Baron 3K. Blabber's Blabber's Get in there. 
Bubba, I don't think he can get in. The lights are out. Need G, they've secured themselves the Baron. Very nicely done. This time, they keep Cloud9 out of the pit. And evil geniuses will be wearing purple on their next march. Teleport back out. Can they actually save this, though? Uh, they've got a rotation from JoJo. I don't know. It's going to be hard. Caitlyn's got long range. She can just auto attack it down. They still want the tower for Cloud9, and they get it. Four ones uh, push in on two lanes, get bottom and mid in, get some of these outer towers down, get more oh, about it. Inspired threatening between the two lanes as well, constantly with this Nocturne ultimate. It just becomes so difficult now for Cloud9. some very small corridors here. It makes it easy for the Orn combination to oh, line them up. Blab is going for the play. They're going to try to get JoJo. He's pretty tanky though on the rise. And the Orn ulti and the perk's just going to get Isles killed. And now they dive in. Inspired with the final chapter over the top. Blab is going to die to the double. Making a triple there as Inspired picks up the next one. And it's now 5v2. Making it 1v5. It's Baron all. empowered minions. Feels like everything according to plan. Let Summer play the Jace. Play to scale and then just play the game out beautifully. From that point on, with DG streaming down the right hand side of the rift as Fudge is going to try and defend. Isles with the ulti, but it barely thins the wave. Fudge's not going to be the next target, but they can just keep on diving. JoJo racks up his seventh kill of the game, and Isles cannot defend this. Blabber can't do anything. Berserker, maybe. Rob. He can shoot them off the Nexus, but I don't think it. It's a long time. Oh, Berserker has gone in for the play. Blabber with a big kick gets Danny back in the team, and that is going to be Danny Lowe, but he's not dead just yet. Isles finally finishes that off, and C9 do hold. Summit looking for the kill. Gets JoJo inspired. He's going to get in there as well. And now can they get another impact? Another kill there for Blabber indeed. He's going to give it over. And Cloud9 with a massive defense. This is huge spacey time. They can do more than hold. They can get an objective bounty shutdown on Elder Dragon here. They can push them back. Inspired is the only hope now for EG. Can he steal it? Don't go with Yumi, though. That would be a double sacrifice. They're just going <laughs> to give up the Elder Dragon buff instead. So Cloud9. Not only do they defend their Nexus, but they also buy themselves so much safety oh and boy. gold. Slingshot about picks, though. Full-on team fights would be to their advantage, Ooh, but picks. We're going for it again. Inspired there with the ulti, and they can get a pick. Indeed, Fudge will be slain. Oh, obviously, the there are no towers. Wee. And uh, mid's open as well, so they can maybe take another in-hit. JoJo with a very big bounce there, and all oh, the way the top is massive as well. EG coming in for seconds, and this time, they will get the job done. Danny just zooming on over the Nexus. Blab is trying to hold C9 again. Will push EG out as EG take game number one.